there's a way to make an entrance. My destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. I'm Sarah Richardson. This is Ingrid. This was Ingrid's living room and dining room. But this is Ingrid's living dining room now, thanks to a little help from Design Inc. more comfortable, more inviting. It Is wouldn't it the pieces that you're not happy with or the colors? It's the colors. I okay. restricted myself, really, so okay. that I have been unable to make any changes because the carpet, the everything. carpet kind of does that It too. sort of does. Ingrid hasn't touched her showcase living dining space in 14 years. Sounds like she knows what she wants, but after waiting such a long time to make a change, who wouldn't need a little coaxing to move things along? <laughs> and what about, is there anything, is there anything that you really, I mean, obviously, I want a nice don't, furniture. My coffee table I've had for many, many years, and okay. it's very sweet, but it's useless. It's small, okay. low, okay. Um, doesn't. I'm do sorry, but you're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I love my bergeres, but I want them toned down. I, I just, it's in, in fabric or in color? Well, mostly fabric, I think, okay. but you know, I, I don't really know. Now, what about the floor? Because I can see kitchen and hallway have a nice dark mm -hmm. Brazilian cherry or jatoba or something. Right. This is light, okay. uh, which I would like to darken. That's some lovely artwork. That's beautiful. Yes. So is that sort of the more, you know, when you look at the all the sort of natural tones yes, in the lighter palette, they're sort of right. more oystery shapes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that she can actually see it. I mean, my thing is when I see a room for the first time, I can generally see, I see what it's gonna look like finished. And that's the nice thing about working with clients is that when they see it finished, it's generally a surprise. And hopefully it's a good surprise and they like it. I picked Natalie to tackle Ingrid's space because she's easygoing and adaptable by nature. Personality traits that might help to move the project forward. Now that we've found out that Ingrid's into warm, neutral colors, it's time to find a little inspiration. It's a great price, but see how loose it is? Yeah. She's got a cat. Yep. And I have a funny feeling it might not stand up. I like this one. It's got great texture. It's not going to show, like, as far as wear. It could be for the sofa. And it's only $30 a yard, which I think is a terrific price point. Yep. And it goes nicely with all of these. It does. If you were to take the room right now, sofa's here, it's the only place to keep it. We could go this with fireplace? a pair of chairs, yeah. We go with a pair of chairs here, mm -hmm. keeping her bergeres here. So if this is the sofa. Ingrid's job is going to be easy. We found fabrics and are moving ahead. Feels like it'll be done in no time. Absolutely. Um, what did she think of these fabrics? Those are her favorites. Okay. So I She liked all of these. Yes. I had the no pile. So I think it can be really overwhelming for a client. You know, I left a bag you of took 60 fabrics, fabrics right? at her door and said ding dong and ran away laughing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think what she would love is for us to present to her dining, sofa, bergere, tub chair. How's that for editing? From 60 fabrics, I get to narrow it down to final choices that Ingrid is sure to love. So dining room chairs, sofa, Desk chair. Can this make its way in some? Oh, well, there's the one yeah. ottoman for the bear chair as well. Would you do it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. He yeah. ought. Now, you cool. sent me an email and said that she wants to change her dining room table. She does not want it. We need to get the table figured out before we can order the chairs. And, before and it's going to have a lot to do with the budget. 
the easiest decision for Ingrid to make is ripping up the wall-to-wall -wall carpeting in favor of installing dark stained hardwood. It gives a sense of flow to this open space. What's happening with Ingrid? The most imperative thing is that storage okay. unit. And is she interested in considering a vintage piece instead of something that's made? I think she prefers something that's made. The way she's looking at it is that if she is going to get something that large and possibly that expensive, mm -hmm. to have it absolutely custom for what she wants. Nine feet, four feet. So each of these drawers would basically be 24 inches across the front. Beautiful. And then each of the doors would basically be 24 inches. Mm -hmm. I'll call either Val or Andrew and just see what we need to do to make this piece work and yeah. how long it's going to take. No job is ever easy the entire way through. And I think sometimes it takes her maybe, you know, a day to think about it. Here's me. I don't want to be too beige. I don't want to be too <laughs> pink. I don't want to be too purple. I don't want to be too green. What color does Ingrid want to be? It's time for Ingrid to update her living dining room. After all, it's only been 14 years. With fabrics in hand, she must now make some tough decisions. I like that tone better, but I don't like that. The I, like, I like the, the, the okay. uh, triangles. Okay. More more tactile, more durable, mm -hmm. more kind of all-purpose, if right. that makes sense. Sounds good. Yeah, I pulled Moss this one. Gray. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like that. It's quite beautiful. But I, I like didn't want anything too creamy. You know, I do like these, but look at they that. might be, they're quite that, different. This, that, is, this goes with that wall color quite nicely. Is that the um, oh, yeah. faded rose? I like faded that. Rose too. I just and don't want to like be too pink. That's, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Here's me. I don't want to be too beige. I don't want to be too pink. <laughs> I don't want to be too purple. I don't want to be too green. <laughs> what color does Ingrid want to be? <laughs> Okay, so on the dining room table, there's two pieces. The dining room table has, it's just a simple glass top, and all I'm looking for is a base to support it. So then the next piece is a storage piece. And the idea is that this is to store all of her good dishes, um, glassware, crystal, booze. booze. Uh, I've got an echo here from Natalie. Um, a slab front on all the doors and the drawers across the top. And I was thinking it would be nice to pick it up in some sort of decorative wood because it is such a big run. Could we do something like a crotch mahogany or a burled walnut or she wants it all to be on nice, big, heavy duty pullouts. This is, uh, we want it to look beautiful. Okay, thanks a million. Bye-bye. Today is shaping up to be a furniture kind of day. Let's check how the rest of Ingrid's reupholstered pieces are coming along. Many of her pieces are good quality, so rather than buy new, we're having them modified to work with our scheme. Great. So this is the, the pair of bergeres is in this fabric. Now, uh, they didn't have enough fabric, so the ottoman that goes with them, we want to do in the sofa fabric. Okay. Then this is for um, two chairs and this little sort of orangey accent, ready orange, is for, there's a little sort of bamboo style side chair. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You know the one? Know. Okay, you so basically you have to wait. rebuild the cushions. Yeah. But can you we still can use, use much of the, the envelope still, okay. but uh, definitely put, replace the foam and have a maybe a four or five inch band. Okay. We'll try to reuse as that much as we can. That would be good. I just wanted to look as kind of crisp as possible. Yeah. We're using this because we thought this was a good quality sofa, is it? Yeah, oh no. Okay, yeah, definitely. it's worth recovering. Oh yeah. Absolutely, okay, good. Uh, Just not in the purple. Yeah. <laughs> Shiny purple. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, Natalie has come across a nasty surprise. How's it going? And, uh, well, I noticed this morning that the entire ceiling has been painted. Oh, yeah. The, the color we were going to test. Well, it's now the whole ceiling. Right now, if I understand correctly, then Ingrid thinks that the ceiling, it's so high and the room is quite so voluminous big. and she wants to bring it down. Which is totally the opposite of what I'd want to do because I look at that yeah. room and, and think, I would oh, love to. Yeah. I'd go with like light billowy drapes yeah. and make it all white and breezy and make it feel like you're on mm -hmm. the coast. But it sounds like she's trying to make it. Maybe it's a cozy thing for yeah. her to have a darker ceiling. I don't know if you have time today. Sure, I'll pop by. That would be great. This I've got to see. The ceiling is darker and it's all painted. That's a mighty expensive test swatch. Oh my gosh, look at those paint samples. It looks like modern art on the wall. That's kind of cool. Okay, you know what? I don't mind the ceiling. Yeah, I told you. This is special. Oh, I know. La, 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 la. I told you so. But, and there's 
there's always a but. This ceiling looks like it's sort of wobbling across. And if it's not, if you don't, if the ceiling isn't perfectly straight, it looks even more uneven. That's just the way it's been built. There's not a whole lot of choice. We're gonna live with the uneven wall, lighten the color so it's not so pronounced. It's part of the charm of the house. Fixing it would be very expensive and is not in the cards, I hope. Look at the floors. They look amazing. Is Ingrid happy with them? She loves them. I think we're best going with the darkest, great, richest color. All right, well, let's see what Ingrid has to say. As you can see, there's several colors, and actually there's several underneath, and they keep getting added to, and it's also hard because the primer is white, and so it doesn't cover. Lots of talk about that accent wall. Now it's decision-making time. So we'll see. Well, it's still not quite right, but it's better, you know, I like it better than the other two. Well, it's beautiful. A lot of red. You know, as my husband always says, just pick a color, and that'll be the right one. <laughs> Where's my coin? <laughs> That's it. How is Ingrid's coming? Well, like any project, there's the good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay, what's the good? The good is the furniture is arriving tomorrow. The the bad okay. is, uh, what's the bad? Well, the bad is that we're hoping what's to have the ugly? everything. The ugly is the ceiling color. <laughs> we tried a lighter color that you and mm -hmm. I had spoke about, and it made the cut line pop even more. Okay. So we tested that, then we tried the flat, in mm -hmm. the color that she had originally liked. And I liked it. Okay. The other color that we had selected, she found a little yellow, so I didn't want to go with that one. She came home, she just, she doesn't like it. So she's totally cool about it. She's not upset at all. But they painted it, like it's oh, yeah. done. Oh yeah, but it's paint. It can okay. be changed, it's easy. Easy if time and money are no object. Can you make sure that Ingrid is there though when they paint she's the accent wall? Yes. Okay, so the paint is not going so well, but thankfully, the reupholstered furniture is a hit. Oh my god. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, it is. Yay! <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, yes. Oh! <laughs> Comes <Yeah>. very nice. I think it's the closer fabric than the bare chairs. Well, I love the bare chairs. I think it looks stunning. They're fabulous. Beautiful. As for the red paint on the chimney wall, this is getting painful. Why did I ever suggest it? So we'll see. Well, it's still not quite right, but it's better, you know, I like it better than the other two. Yep. Because it's got more life. I, you know, I like it. That's three coats, and it probably still could use it. It probably could use one more. Choosing a rug is no easy task. Poor Natalie. How is she going to get Ingrid to decide? All right, so what one do you want to see first? That one. This one? This is looking nice. Mm -hmm. This is this is nice. I like this. Well, it's beautiful. A lot of red. Well, why don't I come back tomorrow? Feel. And I'll get some okay. additional colors. Bring my paint deck. I'll pull some fabrics. And we'll start and then again. And we'll sit on the floor. <laughs> and start maybe again. Eventually, we'll find some colors. We hope. Perfect. The wall color is great. We're down to two carpets now, and uh, they're similar, but one is a darker background and one is lighter. So that will help a lot, I think. I would think that once we get in the other fabrics, it'll be much easier to pick a color for here. The floors were the big thing. And uh, now the furniture's arriving, and there's some more coming this week, I understand. So I think it's going to start to go ahead faster now. This project isn't moving forward fast enough. I've decided it's time to tag team the client into taking the leap of faith necessary to get this project done. Hello, Ingrid. <laughs> Where's Winnie? This is amazing. Isn't this stunning? It's so rich. It looks beautiful with the furniture. <laughs> I think either one could work beautifully. Mm -hmm. If you mm -hmm. ask me, I like the top one best. But I haven't seen the other one just without this one on top. Well, why don't we Should take we go a look? Well, you yeah. know, let's do it. That's what we're here for. It's just and we're back to the chimney wall. I think it's hard, especially with a color as strong as a red, you'll never know with any color, even if you do a sample. I mean, the nice thing about doing a sample is I would not want to have painted this wall eight times. However, until you actually commit to a color and paint it, you you'll won't never know. know. No, because that's three coats and it's mm -hmm. not enough to tell the color. No. We could start <laughs> with this. Right. And if you don't like this, this could be the primer to put the darker color over top. 
but then what if we didn't like the darker colors? <laughs> <laughs> then we give up. Then the after chasing eight colors, <laughs> <laughs> then, we leave, then we paint it cream. <laughs> A little designer muscle no. might help. No, but that's yeah. pretty. But see, that chair even looks good with this dark one over here. Sure, it plays well with it everybody. Does. It does. This chair, <laughs> this chair is Switzerland, okay? <laughs> Feature wall done, which brings us right back to where we started, the area rug. You know, if I have a choice of two, I can't make a decision. <laughs> you know, rock, paper, scissors. Where's my coin? <laughs> That's it. The key is for the rug to work with Ingrid's treasured artwork. This one belongs to this rug. I mean, if you just look at the pinks and the purples and the greens yeah, in both of these, mm -hmm. I, I, I that definitely this painting looks better with this rug. This one I think would go with either. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this one, um, I think this goes one. better with this rug. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, I'm really happy today. I was feeling a little anxious and um, like things hadn't gone, there hadn't been much going on the last few days and I was getting a little nervous. But today we got so much accomplished that I feel really good for someone, a third person, and somebody as knowledgeable as Sarah to come in and just sort of, she just sort of cleans it up, you know? Slowly but surely, we're edging ever closer to finishing Ingrid's living and dining room. We're in the home stretch for Ingrid. It's about time, hallelujah. Hi. She hasn't changed her mind on a paint color lately, has she? We're anxiously awaiting the delivery of the custom sideboard and table I designed. Hope Ingrid likes it, because if not, I'm footing the bill. Wow. It's the moment of truth. First, I get to lug in the sideboard. Then, see if Ingrid even likes it. This is so gorgeous, I can't stand it. Oh, phew, that's a relief. The color is perfect. It's beautiful. Good morning. Early the next morning, morning and the design ink crew is here to help pull it all together. <gasps> Winnie, it's John. We're officially in the home stretch. Guys, um, so we're pretty close. The brand new beautiful furniture has arrived. So maybe Tan, if you can help me unwrap it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't involve lifting or anything yeah. like that. Okay. Then we just have to prop and make look pretty. Everything's being installed right now. So it's just a matter of unwrapping and arranging and organizing. The desk needs to come back in. We have pillows. Pillows. To stop. Yes, we, we need do. to get flowers. Yes, and we need to thank review you. Um, Ingrid's dishes and decide yes, on a table, table setting and all the table accessories for that. Thank and you. then finish hanging all this stuff. Um, clean, up. And clear up and get it. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> do you want a preview? Sure. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this. Oh, this is gorgeous. You know, there were times I I thought nobody was listening, you know. Uh, <laughs> but uh, they were, and I discovered that, you know, as we went along, they were always listening. Oh, fun! Oh, Winnie! Oh, you want more tummy rubs? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. See the steam muffins. Whoa, diving into that. Nice. Every day, every time we come. Aren't they amazing? Mm-hmm. That's, that's a language for my manners. Yeah. Right what, were you born in a bar? Mm-hmm. I was actually in a manger. <laughs> chairs on either side here sure. and then the upholstered chairs on either side there. He's just, yeah. yeah. What I 
always try and think about is creating spaces that are comfortable for your guests to be in. So it's nice enough that you would want to sit in it on any day. The main thing about the living room is that we kept almost all of the existing furniture, with the exception of a few key pieces, such as coffee table and a pair of new chairs. However, with the dining room, it's an entirely clean slate. It's a new table, new chairs, sideboard, chandelier, everything except the lamps. And this was not a renovation. I mean, we did do the floors, but that's, we, we were able to create something entirely new out of what was here because the space, it was a great space to start with. And I wanted to bring it into, you know, a new time and it's just wonderful. I think it's just fabulous. It's just, um, just what I wanted.